talking about mental health, most importantly, the mental health of healthcare workers. And we all know that mental health is really important, but just how important is it for these healthcare professionals that are directly or indirectly involved in the healthcare system? And I'll also be discussing how complex this issue really gets. Although mental health seems like a private and personal topic that will speak one-on-one -on -one with your professional therapist, which is true, what is also true is that it's our responsibility as a community and society to ensure that these healthcare workers are taking care of themselves before they start taking care of anyone else. There are many ways that we can accomplish this, which I'll be discussing later on, but first a brief summary on the topics I'll be discussing in this video. First, we have mental health course and how it affects these healthcare professionals um, in their performance. Later, we have how mental health directly affects the human body. And lastly, I'll discuss what we can do to help this issue. According to the Springler Link Journal Studies, published in late November of 2022, healthcare workers encounter job demands such as long shifts, life or death issues, crucial decision makings, and are exposed to suffering in a constant death cycle. As a healthcare professional or healthcare worker, and as a student myself, I have noticed how detrimental it is for my mental health being to encounter and be in an environment with people that act selfishly, that show minimum to no respect to one another. And at times it makes me question my own knowledge, my own worth, as well as my, as it lowers my self-esteem. Um, I also wonder whether these people know that I'm here to help them and that I care for them. And I'm also a human being with pre-existing emotions, anxieties, and um, insecurities. Everything just um, summarizes and or becomes a, or creates a lack of self-efficacy at work, which overall becomes a psychological distress that of course later on affects different areas of my mental well-being. When healthcare workers and them find themselves in, in a point of emotional tiredness, this is quick to reflect in their performance and their surroundings, which can, can be dangerous due to the fact that these healthcare professionals not only deal with the health of people, but also their lives. According to the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, more than double the number of healthcare workers reported harassment at work in 2022 than they did in 2018. Nearly half of healthcare workers reported feeling burned out in 2022 than they did in 2018. And lastly, nearly half of healthcare workers intended to look for new jobs in 2022 than they did in 2018. All of which raises concern on what is happening in the workplace whether this be your local pharmacy, doctor's office, hospital, or the ICU. Why are our healthcare professionals experiencing different forms of harassment, including physical ones? Why do they not feel safe at work? Are we giving them enough time to complete tasks and deal with patients? And are we appreciating and rewarding these accomplishments enough? Others may argue that mental illness and mental health overall is not as serious, or some may argue that it's not real, um, as other diseases that the human body can experience. C.S. Lack from Springer article argues that despite the undeniable importance of these negative outcomes, there are only a really few studies that actually focuses on the burnout of these workers. And to that, I have to, unfortunately, will have to agree. Mental illness is yet to be studied in depth as the other diseases that is being compared to, that they're being compared to. And the complexity of mental illness is beyond a prescription pill. And the signs are not as simple or they're not as visible to the naked eye as an allergy reaction. Just like any other disease or infection that quickly spreads throughout the body, mental illness can also have that effect. It can um, become or can form into a chronic physical condition, including pain due to the nervous, the main nervous system experiencing high levels of stress all the time. Some uh, people also experience, di experience different type of inflammations or hives throughout their body. 
as well as an imbalance of hormones that directly affect the immune system. When we experience a great deal of psychological distress, there are only two pathways that the human brain really recognizes, and that is fight or flight. And in which in either of these states, the body cannot recognize things that things the way it normally would. Um, like a little kitten could look like a lion, and a little problem could feel like the end. The world is ending if we don't solve it immediately, or we don't do it well. As an individual, community, and society, we need to take care of our healthcare workers by creating safe environments that allows them to express themselves, their worries, their burdens, their concerns in the workplace freely and without fearing of some type of penalty from any type of management. Additionally, making sure these workers are given considerate shifts with breaks in between would also help. Furthermore, if the mental health of these professionals are not taken serious, this will quickly catch up to the health, entire healthcare system if it hasn't already. And it is important to remember that one small mistake that these workers make can cost a life. Finally, everyone can make a change and you can too. Ensuring that we speak up when we notice these workers being mistreated or neglected is just one of many steps that we can take to show them that we care and that we're there for them. And thank you so much for listening to my speech.